Normally, the flow of blood through blood vessels is unimpeded. Red cells, white cells, and platelets pass over the unbroken lining of endothelial cells. Its smoothness discourages their adhesion. But there exists, within this supporting framework of proteins and mucopolysaccharides, an emergency mechanism capable of reducing blood loss by promoting coagulation. This is the extracellular matrix, or ECM. The first reaction to an injury involving the epithelium comes from the damaged epithelial cells themselves. They release endothelin, a polypeptide which causes smooth muscle in the wall of the artery to contract, as do nerve impulses arriving in response to the injury. As a result, less blood is lost because the vessel is narrowed at the site of injury. The exposed ECM releases von Willebrand factor. This attracts platelets to the damaged area and promotes adhesion between these platelets. It forms bridges between platelets and the underlying extracellular matrix. Von Willebrand factor is also found on the surface of epithelial cells and in platelets as alpha granules. As platelets adhere to one another and to the extracellular matrix thanks to von Willebrand factor, they become activated, causing a reorganization of their actin fibers and a change in their shape. This in turn exposes their lipoprotein surface to the blood clotting factors. The activated platelets now release adenosine diphosphate, or ADP, and increase the synthesis of thromboxane A2, both of which boost platelet attraction. Both of these molecules attract more platelets to the injury site, expanding the platelet mass and further plugging the breach. Secondary hemostasis is the process of stabilizing the clot. It begins with the coagulation cascade, a sequence of events which develops with explosive speed, ending in the formation of a fibrin clot. It starts when factor seven binds to tissue factor. This activated complex attaches itself to the platelet surface, setting the cascade in motion. It activates factor 10 so that there is a rapid increase in the level of activated factor 10, 10A, in the blood. Activated factor 10 cleaves prothrombin, yielding thrombin. In turn, thrombin cleaves fibrinogen to form strands of fibrin. We have been tracing the rapid response pathway of clot formation from injury to the cells lining blood vessels through to the formation of the fibrin network. This pathway is known as the extrinsic system. But there is another slower pathway called the intrinsic system, which may be triggered by exposure of blood to a negatively charged surface, such as collagen or glass. The two systems are indeed complementary pathways which join at the level of activation of factor 10. Polymerized fibrin forms a network which anchors blood cells and platelets in the clot.